to open our understanding anew and afresh to this great portion of scripture in Paul's letter to the Roman uh, believers. Father, we realize that uh, it's difficult for us to set ourselves in the setting of this book. To be in Rome and to realize that Paul had been in prison and, and uh, he's burdened for these folks and he's trying to give them the best that he has after all these years of traveling and preaching and evangelizing and, and discipling people. And Lord, we know that these must be important words in this letter. We just can't study them too much. We just can't do anything. We can memorize them like I did and, and still miss so much. So, Father, open the eyes of our understanding tonight. As Paul prayed in the Ephesian letter, that the eyes of their understanding would be open, that they might know the hope to which he had called them. That's what we need tonight in our own life. We need the eyes of our understanding to be open. Lord, I thank you this week that you took me back down the steps in my own life and how you showed me step by step at different periods when I was walking away or maybe just missing the point. Or maybe I was just standing still and marking time. I really wasn't going anywhere. Just going over the same messages with different people over and over and over. And then, Lord, you showed me again that to go on, I had to live according to the world, the instructions that Paul gave this great group of people. Lord, may it be personal tonight to each one of us. May those who are listening take their Bibles down or their iPad or whatever. Take the scriptures and the chapters that we read tonight. And I pray, Lord, that you'll become real to them in teaching them how to live in victory. Lord, if there are those tonight who've never trusted you, as we said at the beginning, they've never turned from their sin and their sinning and turned to the, to the Savior or the salvation and the victory that he offers them, we pray, Lord, that they'll do it tonight, even when they finish listening to this message. Lord, that they'll find a place alone somewhere and get alone with you and ask you to come into their heart and cleanse their heart and change their heart and, as Paul said, change their mind about the way they're living and not to live like the world around them, but to live as Jesus wants them to live. For it's in his dear name we pray, even Jesus. Amen. 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 Thank you. 
Lord, we know that there's nothing too difficult for you. And we know there are people tonight listening and who will be listening in the days to come that are struggling in their Christian walk. And some, Lord, who are just struggling to understand what it means to be a Christian. And Lord, we pray that you will open their heart and their mind. And above all, that they'll open their heart to you and invite you to come in and be their Lord, their Master, and their Savior. Oh, Father, may they know the joy that's found in being right with Jesus, having a personal time with Him every day, to walk with Him and talk with Him. Oh, God, may they come to know that peace that passes all understanding. Again, we pray.